Okay, so um, a total of 11,000 was invested. Part of the 11,000 was invested at 4% and the rest at 7%. If the investments earned $680 in interest per year, all, total interest, how much was invested at each rate? Okay. Yeah. So let's... Um, there's two things to think about. Basically, there's there's it's there's two accounts, right? Yeah. Um. And so we and we started out with eleven thousand dollars, and it's yep. split into two accounts. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is these. I just want everyone. I, I like to ask all students, um, to just give me two numbers that add to eleven thousand. So, um, and what I mean by that is I'll give you one, one thousand plus 10,000, that adds to 11,000, right? Yeah. So so that would be a possible solution, although I don't know if that's going to make the $680 in interest, but that's a guess. So I want everybody watching from home and students here to just write down a couple of other possibilities that this answer could be. Like, So at least we all agree that the two amounts must add to 11,000. So just write down two amounts that would add to 11,000 just for fun, right? Yeah. Okay, so I hope you've all given that a go and press pause and try that. Here's a few more. 8,000 and 3,000, 6,000 and 5,000. You know, you could have 4,500 plus um, 6,500. And these are all possibilities. We don't know what the answer is, but I just want everyone to agree that these unknown numbers, at least they, we all agree they add to 11,000, right? Yeah. Because I hope we can all understand the first equation, which is x plus y, the two unknown numbers, equal 11,000. Now, are we all okay with that part at least? Yeah. Right. So let me take one of these guesses. So I'm just going to take, like, um, my first guess here of 1,000 in one account and 10,000 in the other. So one account paid 4% interest and the rest paid 7%. So let's say this was the answer. Let, let's just check this. So, and I'm just doing this so we kind of understand the thing a bit more. So I want everyone, just for fun, to get 4% of 1,000 plus 7% of 10,000 and see what we get. And see, is that equal to uh, $680? Maybe we'll get it by get the answer by just guessing, right? We probably won't, but let's try it anyway. So just for fun, I'm, the reason I'm doing numbers here because because students freak out when we put the letters in, but let's try numbers first then. So so just press pause and let's figure out what 4% of 1,000 is and 7% of 10,000, right? Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. so everyone remember your percents because 4% is 4%, you see, is four per 100. 0 0.04, 4 hundredths, like 4 cents, 4%, right? So I want everyone to remember that. And then the next thing is, so if I was getting 4% of 1,000, of means multiply. I'd go 0 0.04 times 1,000. If I was getting 7% of 10,000, I'd go 0 0.07 times 10,000. And this, by the way, would be 40, and this would be 700. And so that would make 740, right? Mm -hmm. And is that equal to 680? No. No. So these are wrong, but at least I think we're starting to understand what's going on here, right? Yeah. We're earning interest in one account. We're earning interest in another account. The amounts mm -hmm. from both accounts add to 11,000, right? Right. But, so in other words, this does not equal 680. So what's wrong in this equation is that this number is wrong and this number is wrong okay so shouldn't we replace the thousand and ten thousand with letters because they were a guess anyway right yeah so shouldn't we do this 0 0.04 times x instead of a thousand plus 0 0.07 times y instead of ten thousand oh, and okay. that should equal okay. 680 so instead of making a guess and throwing the numbers in and see what you get, let's put in letters. There you go. And now we have two equations, completely mm -hmm. different equations, with two missing numbers, x and y, right? Yeah. Is that isn't that supposed to be point zero zero seven? Uh no, zero point zero seven, yeah. Seven percent. Zero point zero seven. Yep. 
Oh, so, oh, right, because we're not using the same numbers as last time. Duh. Right. I so, don't know why. So you can solve this by graphing, by elimination, or by substitution. I suggest substitution because all you have to do is look, subtract x from both sides up here, and then you have y is 11,000 minus x. Does that make sense? Yep. Right? And we can use that, and we can take this 11,000 minus x, and we can plug it in for y down here, like substituted it, 11,000 minus x. Make sense? Yeah. So, <clears throat> and we will have this. And now we have an equation with only the x missing. And I think if you get to here, that's the hard part. But it's setting it up. And I think in, in all problem solving, if you guys could please plug in some numbers, just make some numbers up and start playing around with, with actual numbers, that will help you figure out the equations you need. But it's hard to just get the equations with letters directly. Most students just want to write down the equation with the letters. And they don't really understand what they're doing, and, and then they make a mistake somewhere along the line. So it's good to play around with these and, and, and write some numbers and, and get, a, get a feel for it, right? Yeah. So anyhow, this is what we have. So now we have to solve this, right? So I'm going to ask everybody to press pause on the video. Everyone watching from home, press pause on the video and just solve this and see what you get for X. And then I'll play it and I'll go through it quickly. All right? Negative. No problem. I'll just run over it then. So real quick. So um, let's see. So hope everyone's giving it a go. Um, when you multiply 0 0.07 in here, that's 7% of 11,000, which is $770. And this times this gives negative 0.07x. You have to bring down the 0.04x. That does not disappear. So that goes there, and that equals 680. And now we're just going to solve like a regular equation. We can add like terms. 0.04 minus 0.07, negative 0.03x. Mm -hmm. plus 770 equals 680, and then subtract 770 from both sides, and we get negative 0.03x equals uh, mm -hmm. negative 90, right? Mm -hmm. And then divide both sides by negative 0.03. And you guys can use a calculator if you like, but you should get x equals 3,000. All right, x equals 3,000. So we have one of the numbers. We're missing the other number. So everyone, I just want you all to press pause and go find that other number and see what it is. Press pause and try and find this other number. All right, so I'll pop over this now. So we found out one number is 3,000. So look, if they go to add to 11, so the other one has to be 8. or in algebra, we just plug the x into the original equation. So you could say, like, you know, 3,000 plus y equals 11,000. So subtract, and you get y equals 8,000, right? But look, they both yeah. add to 11, so it has to be 8, right? Mm -hmm. 3 and 8 is 11. Yeah, so there we go. Now, um, so they definitely add to 11,000, so that equation works for sure. The question is, does this equation work? Yeah. Right, so let's just check this equation. So we're going to check that equation. So we're going to go um, 0 0.04 times x was 3,000 times 3,000 plus 0 0.07 times y, y was 8,000. And C is that, in fact, equal to 680. So that's all. Uh, try that out. So we plug this into our little interest equation here. Remember the interest equation is 0.04x plus 0.07y equals 680. We're going to try it out now, right? Yeah. If you multiply these, you guys will find that's $120. If you multiply these, you'll find that's $560. Mm -hmm. And if you add those, you'll find that that is 680. So it yep. does work. Now, the, the key here is that we got $120 interest from this account that paid 4%. This is the 4% account, remember? 
We got $560 interest from this account that paid 7%. Mm -hmm. And they added, so, so the answer is that if we have $3,000 invested at 4%, we have $8,000 invested at 7%. Okay. Yeah. You can't switch it around. Watch this. 0 0.04 times 8,000 plus 0 0.07 times 3,000 is not going to work because this is $320 and this is $210. And if mm. you add those together, you don't get 680. If you add those together, you get 530. So you guys have to specify how much money is invested at what rate. You can't just switch them around like that. And that's what a lot of students mess up at the end. They say, oh, it was $8,000 at 4% and $3,000 at 7%. No, it's $3,000 at 4% and $8,000 at 7%. Not the same thing. It gives you different interest rates from different accounts, right? Yeah. And just as a matter of real life interest, why wouldn't we just put everything in the account for 7%? Why do we even use the 4% account when it's so low? Because oftentimes in the world, accounts with a higher interest rate have a higher risk. They go up and they go down and they go up and down, you know, and so they're more dangerous, right? Mm -hmm. Investment, where if you invest at a lower rate, that often corresponds to something that's really steady and reliable, like treasury bonds, like yeah, blue chips, they call them. So, so you know, something that's probably not going to um, uh, shoot up and down, shoot down in value. So there you go. Yeah. All right.